Hi, welcome to my kitchen. We're usually running out of ideas for appetizers. Today we'll make a tarty, spicy appetizer with ingredients which are usually there in our pantry. Lime pickle loaded potatoes. Shall we get started? I've got some boiled and peeled potatoes here. I'm going to start grating. You can either grate or mash them. I find grating easier than mashing because they're lesser lumps. Now we have a smooth mixture here to which I'm going to add some corn flour. Some cheddar cheese. a little bit of white pepper powder, some salt, we mix this all together. Some breadcrumbs, I'm using ready breadcrumbs but if you have some stale bread lying in the fridge you could blend it and use it. Mix till it's all well incorporated. And now our coating is ready. We'll go on to our stuffing. Now I'm going to mix the stuffing ingredients for which I've got this koya, to which I'm going to add some lime pickle. The reason for using koya is it's just, just right with the lime pickle. It cuts down that tartiness and gives a little creaminess to it. of sugar. This is optional. Some salt. Not too much because your pickle already has salt. Now let's roll these into lemon sized balls. Make a little dent. And we put about half a teaspoon of this stuffing in it. Close it up, make sure it's well sealed. Yeah. Roll it in breadcrumbs. You can give it any shape you like, shape it like a croquette like this or in a round patty. It's very easy to mold it because it's like a play-doh. We've added corn flour and breadcrumbs to it so it's, you can shape it, seal it and it won't open up even when you're frying. Now we can start shallow frying these potatoes. Don't overcrowd the pan, just a couple at a time. Overcrowding the pan brings the temperature of the oil down and they can open up. So that is the rule even when you do your spring rolls or anything that's stuffed when you're frying, don't overcrowd the pan. Fry them till they're nice and golden brown. Our 
Our lime pickle loaded potatoes are ready. It's an all time snack, a fusion recipe which blends in with any cuisine. Do try it out and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Look forward to seeing you soon again.